Gypsy Rose Blanchard, our favorite convict turned celebrity. Uh, we've been going through the episodes <laughs> and just giving you a recap of what they're all about. And so the last one, the old ex-boyfriend, old Ken, started popping up again. And if you know, current times, she leaves Ryan and gets back with Ken. So now we get some light shed on that. Just, just I guess, some, some quick spoilers. It seems like the stepmom is instigating a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we already pointed out how I don't think their family likes Ryan at all. Like, I, I don't think they even, they, I think they pretend to like him. Like, it, like yeah. the dad even threatened to shoot him at one point. So, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> remember, Sad, I got good. Yeah. Remember, you may, you may be married, <laughs> but if you do anything <laughs> funny with my daughter, I'm going to, like, excuse me? <laughs> so it's like, we got six days after their release, and Gypsy Rose is talking about trying to be smart with her social media. Like, she's... She's out there, you know, people People are keeping an eye on everything she does. She wants to be smart with her social media, right? I love that you took up for me last night on social media, although it created some drama. I feel like everything I do is on a microscope. I posted one comment, and uh, it's blowing up. This, I mean, this the post they're talking about actually is the one where she talks about the D is fire. You know, they're like, I made a little comment. and eh, eh, eh. A little <laughs> comment she made was kind of a bit, She's over here talking about how, how good old dude's wiener is when he's slanging it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But she's trying to be careful, Dane. She's trying to she's trying to be careful with what she says. Stay jealous because you are rocking my world every night. Yeah, I said it. The D is fire. Yeah, they're just jealous. The D is fire, baby. That's right. <laughs> the jelly. <laughs> one little one little clap back, you know. Is it? She's trying to be careful though. She's trying to be careful. She's got to watch out. She's under a microscope while the camera crew's following her around. <laughs> So an interesting comes the interesting thing comes up is is that she she licks she licks her lips a lot like she's just kind of you know almost like the Joker she's out here just licking her lips but apparently it's uh, from her her mother they thinking that she had an excessive drooling issue which led, which led them to removing her saliva glands so now she has like chronic dry mouth I, oh my gosh I, what doctor like, re- remove your saliva glands what all because your mom said to? I don't know, man. Yeah, so that that's that's a wild, I guess, a Gypsy Rose fact that I didn't know. Uh, but you know, aside from that, she keeps talking about her ex. You know, this is this is literally like a minute in the the episode after she defends her her husband. You know who's probably seeing this? I am so mad. <laughs> My exes. I love it. She just loves making her exes jealous. She's lo- you know who's seen ah, this? Oh, I love it wow. so much. They just live in her head rent free all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop. I know about they're it. seeing this because yeah. they're texting me saying, Hey, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point in the episode, they're packing up and they're getting ready to go to uh, New York and she's gonna be on like I think Good Morning America and some other shows that she's gonna she's she's doing the the New York talk show loop, right? A little bit nervous about all the press that we have planned out for it. All right, so I got my pants. A bit nervous, a bit nervous. You know, got to go a lot of press. Gypsy Rose, yeah. God dang it, you're out of jail. You got paparazzi chasing you down the road. They're probably like outside the windows right now. Just out there like, ah, <laughs> do you make a tweet? Do you make an Instagram post? <laughs> <laughs> Give us something. <laughs> Which, of course, you know, she's already had like parole officer trouble when it comes to all this stuff. But they, they got to talk to them uh, later on in the episode. But, you know, that's... My freedom is at the forefront of my brain 24-7. Literally, my biggest fear is going back to prison for another year and a half. Yeah, so she's, she, she does not... Her biggest fear is going back, right? And yeah. it just cut to this. This isn't my notes for the episode, but uh, imagine living here. Everybody's named John. You walk outside. Hello, John. Hello, John. John. Hello, John. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Every house is the exact same. Oh. Yeah. Maybe they're affordable. I don't know. I'm oh, yeah. no, that's, sure they like, that's crazy. <laughs> they, they, yeah, great, get great price on these for your starter homes. But, you know, whenever you get into like big developments like this, you got to you, you get yourself, uh, get get an inspection for sure. Get a, get a good inspection mm. because a lot of times these things are cheap and mm. they aren't built very good. I mean, they don't even actually have a, like, they've, they've cut corners. I can already tell. They don't actually have, like, closing, they just have carports. You just drive in. You know, you just have a little little roof. Uh, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So she shows up to the pro office, and they they don't you, you can't bring the cameras in. There's no there's no there's no nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. And she stays in there for like two and a half hours. 
Of course, I'm nervous my wife's in there. I don't know what's going on. So I'm hoping that there's no issues and she gets a travel permit. I don't. So as it goes through the episodes, Ryan does not like the pro, like the parole officer. He doesn't like the say he, if, if, if I don't think she could talk to him on speakerphone anymore because he's always like, you know, like running his mouth in the background, probably causing her more trouble. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. hates these dudes. And so it's also important to note that they're, they're three and a half hours from their flight leaving, but they're, they're two and a half hours away from where they need to be to like from the airport. Oh yeah. So they're like, they're on a tight, the, the, the timing is tight. We don't arrive till six. Maybe I, we got, I can't. Like, we have to check. If we have to, we will leave our... Um, no, I have to have it. So he's just, like, big mad the whole time. Like, people are trying to organize stuff, and he's just like, wah, 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 and pretty much <laughs> this conversation. <laughs> 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 well, they're, I, I think they're talking, like, you know, they're at home still and are going to be able to, well, we'll just put it all in your carry-on. And I was like, dude, this is my clothes. If we don't get on that flight, we don't do Good Morning America. I understand, but we're going to get on the flight. All my clothes are in my bag. My meds are in my check bag. You know what I'm saying? The, I guess the, the part on this that kind of bugged me is like they're talking about trying to have like a stable and like calm life after prison and all that. But it's like, here they are. <laughs> trying to get to like all their media rounds and I guess you know it's right but whatever they complain about it and make this big deal and all of a sudden they're in New York <laughs> just like wow yeah, I guess everything was fine they made it they're in the Big Apple <laughs> they did it. yeah they're bam just suddenly cut they're there <laughs> but yeah so they're going to all these different shows and then Gypsy Rose kind of she starts talking about how like she, like she did she never never claimed she wanted to be famous right I came out of prison just wanting to live my life and all this media attention is not something that I said, hey, I want to be famous. It's just, it's happening whether I like it or not. Which is it's true. It is happening. But it's, it's, I don't know, she acts like it's, she's not helping it, right? <laughs> she acts like she's not driving to Good Morning America right now in that car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, you don't have, Across the country. You don't have to do the interviews if you don't, if you don't want to be famous, you know. So she, she downplays it a lot, but it's obvious that she wants it. I mean, like again, that's yeah. the the first episode of the documentary. They talk about how the point of the documentary is she wants to change her image. Like, and then, yeah, and then she's exactly. like, I never wanted to be famous. So, so it's uh, it's misleading, in my opinion. Oh, she didn't. She never wanted to be. She just is. She just, oh my gosh. No, she does. She definitely wants. She wants to be famous. <laughs> don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> hey! Yeah, a quick selfie. And also, it's kind of, it also reminds me of when the paparazzi was like outside of um, the random shoe store they went to. And so my tinfoil hat also makes me wonder if it's just the production crew that's staging the paparazzi <laughs> right. to make her look like she's more famous than she actually is. I mean, I think she, I think a lot of people like do care a lot about her story and, and she is very popular, but I just wonder how much uh, how much of it's like real like this right but anyway they get in and then they they start asking some the producers start asking some questions while they got time i guess how did you feel when gypsy came to your defense on instagram yeah ryan how, how do you feel when she said that the d is fire ryan tell us how you feel about that <laughs> let them hate right because i mean i'm i'm that awesome when i pulled this so you see that popping that collar he's awesome there you go. I love I'm that she's tiger. willing. Yeah, she's brown. She wow. gets you. I'll get you. She'll maul your face. <laughs> <laughs> She'll maul your face. She's like, not literally. Pause it there. Not literally. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to be remembered as the girl who killed her mother. Mm. So, you know, that whole thing again, you know, I, I keep pointing that out because she's like, it's, she doesn't want to be remembered that way. I mean, of course, nobody does, you know, but also. That whole story is the reason she is where she is. So that's that's always going to be a part of the equation, right? Of course, absolutely. Yeah, and then I guess it kind of goes back to like uh, she doesn't want to be remembered that way. She wants to, I guess, maybe go into reality TV now. I don't know, like you know, be known for being. I don't know what else she should be famous for. To be honest, I mean, she's a survivor and the murder dying. You know, the 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 murder is part of that. You know, I should go change it. Just by being real famous, you know, just what I'm get she's famous. Gonna be so famous, just like old what's her name, and she's gonna be so famous that no one's gonna remember why she's famous. They're just gonna, all they're gonna remember is wow, she's just been famous. Are you talking forever. about Kim Kardashian right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Kim. That's it. Well, they yeah. were already super wealthy before the, the tapes came out. It just kind of <laughs> made it even a bigger deal. <laughs> 
I, I'm enjoying my freedom. I'm taking it day by day. But with the massive amount of platform that I have, you know, the six million followers on Instagram. And so she gets on there and she starts kind of, she starts talking about how many followers she has. And uh, it's almost like she's, you know, promoting herself, which I guess she is. So she's going on the talk shows. But this is also a pretty, a pretty, we've referenced this interview uh, in past videos too. This is the one where the, one of the, the I think the old lady says that, um, what does she say? She says she didn't do something wrong, Lucy. You are not alone in, in, in this, you know, situation. There are other ways out. Um, I did I did it the wrong way. Um, no, so, no, no, no. you know. Don't say that. I, well, I did. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, okay. So she, <laughs> the, 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 the lady's like, you had you had no choice. She's like, no, no, I did something wrong. And all the other people are like, murder's bad. <laughs> murder is wrong. Yes, choice. murder's wrong. Let's not forget why you're here. Yeah, so uh. that, that's, that's, I guess, the, like this interview itself has always been like uh, a, bi a big pillar of my opinion of the entire situation when it comes to Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Like she's, she's mm -hmm. a big, her mother, mother was terrible. All this terrible stuff happened. Right. And then people like glazing over the fact that someone was murdered. Right. Like just being yeah. like kind of okay with it. And it's like, like no murder still except wrong. When it came to her boyfriend. Cause you know, yeah. he's in there for life. <laughs> he's still in so there for life. Ain't nobody glaze over <laughs> nothing for him. Okay. <laughs> just throwing it out. It's true. We don't, we don't talk about him. All right. <laughs> he's not the celebrity here. <laughs> hey, thank you. We love y'all. We love you. They're leaving. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> he loves, he loves them. He loves the paparazzi. Maybe a second winning. He loves them. We love you. I wonder if he loves the attention. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. So after that, they got a podcast to go be on. Gypsy, welcome to the Vile Files. Congratulations on being out. Thank We're you. So, so she, got, she goes on a podcast, and the podcast, they ask her, like, how has she been since she's been released? And she answered with talking about her social media following again. It seems to be kind of like her selling point. She's going and doing the PR, letting everybody know how many followers she has. I never expected to have such a big social media following. So I'm kind of like, okay, I have a voice now. So and I guess the, the conversation is not so much of like, how are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm doing good. I'm meeting my family and doing all this stuff. It's always like talking about her social media and like how famous she is, right? And then you got poor Ryan over here. During the view, I was like, you know, I'm actually married to this woman. Like in my head, I'm like, that's my wife. Like, can you believe that? Like, that's my wife right there. Oh, poor Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Ryan. <laughs> He just wanted his 30 seconds of fame, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in the podcast, they ask her if she has like any desire to like get away from social media, right? Um, I was engaged once before. Mm -hmm. Um, to yeah, Ken. to Ken, yeah. And then she brings up her ex. <laughs> wow, <laughs> she just, again, she just can't stop talking about him. She just, <laughs> dude, that's crazy. She keeps bringing him up. Ryan's out there like, I can't believe I'm with her, and she's like, my ex, Ken. <laughs> She's talking about her followers and her exes. Those don't ever no one's even asking go her away. about him. No one's even bringing him up. She just, she keeps bringing him up. Um, well, he doesn't like me because I've called him names. Names. Like have, like, you know, he, mm, he doesn't like you. you, know, you know. He doesn't have any respect for the marriage. Is that why he's <laughs> talking to your stepmom and your stepmom's forwarding the messages to you or well or whatever mm. that weird whole situation is? Yeah. No respect. No respect. Yeah, and the whole conversation, it just kind of seems sad in retrospect. Like, she's, she's, she's like, trying to prove how much she loves Ryan, but it's, like, obvious how she's still obsessed with Ken. Well, actually, oh. Gypsy has, like, asked me to text him. He still has my stuff. He has like, stuff he has stuff of, stuff of mine, like, like old pictures and stuff. He still has stuff of hers, just holding on to it, keeping it warm for her, you know? <sighs> <laughs> Gypsy, Gypsy's the one who asked him to reach out to Ken for her, bro. Like... <laughs> She she never let this man go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this never happened. Oh man. Oh man. But anyway, they finish the podcast and they they go out. They go out to Times Square, right? They they go and see seeing some sights. Hey everybody! So we gotta are update in the fans. Square. She's in New York, everybody. It. Yo, New York. Yeah. Yeah. And then people start to people start to notice her as they as they're out here. I mean, it's not. It probably doesn't have anything to do with like the camera crew that's around her. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> My glasses. Yeah, me good. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm really happy for you, by the way. Thank right, you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting camera angle they had right there, where like they lined her up so she could like peek around the corner, and be like, hey, you know. Right. <laughs> 
They've got like the, the pot of people all wearing the same puffy jackets. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, they all start <laughs> noticing her and gathering around her. And she's like pretty giggly and like excited to you know, be recognized. After that, you know, I, I keep, Dane, she keeps giving us mixed messages. I'm not too sure like what she actually wants because she's doing all this stuff for attention. But then like. I'm not one of those people that go looking for attention. She's not one of those people that go looking for attention, man. She's just oh. got her crew out here in the middle of New York doing the media rounds, right. taking selfies with everybody. She doesn't, she's not <laughs> looking for the attention, guys, you know? Yeah, I can't believe they found her. Yeah, it just, it, they just kind of find, it just kind of finds her. It just, it just happens to her. It's just crazy, you know? Like she obviously, she very obviously loves the attention and seeks it out. Like that's painfully obvious just looking at her and like even like even not even like yeah. look at this documentary just like the stuff she does on social media like she 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 loves it man loves it that's actually that's very true i haven't had to pay for anything honestly in my life so gypsy she was like she was a child and everything happened uh and then like well you know with her mom and then she was living with her mom mom died or was murdered then she went to prison so she never actually had to like work or she doesn't really have any life experience and I think that that is the real reason for all the publicity and all the, the being famous. Cause she, she needs income needs money. Yeah. yeah. She needs money to survive. And, and, and if, when, if it's that way, I think that's smart. I think that's very smart. It's just like the packaging of it and like not being that is what bugs me, you know? Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Go, be, go be famous, go make your money, but don't pretend like, it was all on action. Yeah, like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was going to be famous either way for, like, the story, the way it went. But, like, all the, the, right. the, the, what do they have, like, the movie or whatever, all the stuff they've made about it. Yeah, it's not that, I don't know, that was accidental. So they get done with New York. Uh, they go back, they go back, and it's, this is two days later. And Gypsy starts going through messages, and there's some interesting stuff in here. And I will have at least 10 death threats. You stupid waste of space. Wait until you're going to wish that you were back behind bars. I can't wait I can't. to be a part of tearing you down. Whew! The haters, man. Wow. Like, look, we're cri I'm critical of the whole situation, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't a hater like that. God dang, that's just wow. evil. This is uh, like, like Gypsy. If you ever watch these, if this message ever gets to you somehow, don't read them. Just don't, don't. Mm. Everybody gets them. Everybody gets them. And I'm not saying that to like make it like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. Everybody gets them. I'm just saying that everybody does. Everybody, everybody that has a following does. I get them. Everybody gets them. Don't read them. They're just losers. They're pathetic. Yeah. Keyboard warriors. Nah, boo. But yeah, she goes through some bad messages and then they end up going to Ryan's parents' house uh, to where we kind of, she kind of touches back on social media again and like, you know, our popularity. I feel like I want to engage on social media because it's new to me. I'm not doing anything that anybody else wouldn't be doing. Yeah, so she, she just talks, she's like, she's not looking for any popularity, but she wants to do, like, it's, it's back and forth a lot. Like, of course, like, the fact that she's having to point out that she's not doing anything that nobody else would do is like, obviously she's thinking about it, right? And feels yeah. like she needs to defend that stance. So I don't know. It just it just flip flops back and forth when it comes to her and her popularity and like what she wants to do, what she says. You know, <laughs> a lot of flip flopping, really. And oh, now they're on their way to a wedding venue because they're going to have like a, their 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 wedding, their re wedding because they already had like the the prison one, and so now they're going to do like their vow renewal or whatever, like a, a public wedding, right? A wedding, yeah. or an actual one. How about that? <laughs> I don't know how to word it. <laughs> and Ryan just he just can't believe. That he's that he just can't he's got he's got gypsy rose he just can't believe it man. I mean I'm still in shock that I married this beautiful woman. Just picturing all this, even the day of, would just be breathtaking. Like I never. Poor guy. I just every single time it's just a repeat of like how, he can't believe it. He's so in love. Ah. Oh no. And then uh, it talks about gypsy must see a therapist as part of her parole conditions. She's got to, you know, that's, that's, that's part of it. Got to go see a therapist as you should. As if she's like a what happened to her, right? She's like. What sparked this whole social media thing? And I'm like, honestly, it just happened whenever yeah. I got. So she, she talks she talks to a therapist and talks about social media and how her social media just happened. It's again, it's not again, her being famous as she gets out. Yeah, that's kind of what's going to happen either way. But again, it's just social media keeps coming up a lot in pretty much every aspect of like their life. And so they go through the therapy thing and then they kind of go into like, she takes a selfie wearing like some exercise gear and she starts talking about body positivity and like her scars from like the procedures and stuff that are forced on her by her mom. 
Uh, and like, and she talks about negative comments. She's getting online telling her to lose weight, and and she remembers how she used to be like malnourished and abused. Like she's like, kind of unloading like some all the all the stuff. For the longest time, I felt very embarrassed. It's one of those things that it's a reminder of the things that happened to me. Um, so I wear it proudly. Yeah, so she's got a scar you know, from from all that all that terrible stuff, right? And that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Be be proud of your body yeah. either way. Yeah, I feel know? like that's so. that's like what every it, that part of her whole social media and like her ex expression all that. I think that's that's the good stuff. There's just like so much of this yeah. other stuff going on though that like gets in the way of like the the real positive messages that, that she has, you know? But I mean when it comes to social media, it just happened to her though. Nina just have like a nine to five job. Go to the grocery store. People say hi to me because they know me. I'm their neighbor. She just wants a nine to five job, Dane, and just be gypsy. It's uh Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's <laughs> You could have just done that without all the media tours and everything, you know? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, but then there's there's one more one more repeating thing that I gotta show you too, Dane. Oh no. You know, I just wanna have a family with you. Well, we need to start taking that route. Well, we're going to. Oh, he just wants to have a family with her. He just wants to Maybe have some kids. Maybe a dog. Wow. But Ken's still on this the way, Dane. Oh, I was going to say, this man's in love, <laughs> love, bro. Coming. He's in love, <laughs> love, and it don't matter. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of Yikes. that episode, and that's the recap of uh, that episode of Gypsy Rose. It's just like a, it's just kind of a repeat of the same stuff. Soon it's all going to start falling apart, though. Oh. And poor Ryan, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> poor Ryan, man. He's about to start getting dumped on in these next few episodes. It's going to be bad. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. <coughs> Excuse me. Say toast to my friends. I love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Are you talking about Kim Kardashian right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Kim. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>